Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. I wanted to bring you a quick look at my uh, EDC pouch by Rudy Tactical. It's in Coyote Tan and um, it goes inside my Camelback. Basically it's the way I organize all my stuff inside my pack so it's not rolling around in there. I try to keep a lot of my emergency stuff in here and uh, as you can see it's uh, kind of thick. It's very um, packed and it's pretty heavy to be honest. Uh, on the outside of it it has this mesh little pocket uh, with some velcro up here. Inside of here I just basically keep an emergency um, handcuff key and a big lighter. On the outside it has an area uh, of velcro, I mean of uh, the loop stuff to mount American flag or any any other morale patch. On the back side you're going to have the molly loops. They also could go good on the belt. I'm not sure what they have the strap for. I'm sure it's to facilitate mounting um, with a carabiner or something. On the zipper poles it has a piece of paracord wrapped. Um, I did not add this. This one was on there. Um, so let's take a look inside. Um, just to let you know, there's a lot of variations on this pouch. Uh, a lot of manufacturers make it. Uh, Maxpedition. Um, there's one more um, very well-known maker. This one is uh, made by Voodoo Tactical, and it's what they have in my local um, camping store. So um, let's get started with what I have in here. Here's a close look. Very heavy duty. Um, um, this would, I don't know, it's like a stretchy material. Um, very heavy duty. And uh, two pouches on this side and a big pouch on this side. So uh, let's get started. On this side, I have a pair of uh, heavy duty tweezers. They're small and lightweight. Uh, I like that they were red in case I dropped them I could find them and these are strictly for taking out splinters or any other uh, first aid need. I left them in their little container to uh, fight uh, fight rust basically because um, it, they are kept inside my camelback and as you know you know thing leaks. Uh, the other time I, the other thing I keep in here is uh, just a, a chapstick. I never end up using this because um, I'm always carrying my own especially when I go hiking or I go out in the outdoors um, just for comfort you know. Next is the Streamlight um, Stylus Pro. Great flat, for flashlight for the money. I think I paid like $21 for it. Uh, it has one function. It has momentary and it has on off. Uh, great flashlight for the money. As you know I have the Prion and the Prion 2. I prefer those from this one because I have so many other functions. Also I have a low beam which I can utilize inside the car when I'm reading a map or if I drop something. This one only has one and uh, sometimes it can be blinding if it's pitch dark. Uh, but great flashlight for an EDC and because of the stiffness of the button it won't activate in your button and uh, drain your battery. I pretty much got this one specifically for uh, carrying for an emergency, you know what I mean? Uh, next is the Swiss Army Classic. It's the one with the small um, scissors and the two blades. You're looking at a blade and you're looking at a um, little file, nail file or whatever file, whatever you need it for. Uh, toothpick, standard toothpick and standard tweezers. So I have a backup to the tweezers. Mostly for splinters and stuff like that. And it's a really good shape because it just sits there inside the elastic. On the last little um, pouch, I have these nail clippers. These are good for cutting anything, not just nails. Um, you can cut fishing line. Uh, I guess they could be used for a lot of things. Um, I noticed that some people had them in their pouches, so I decided to incorporate them in mine. Um, some people carry a lot of pens in here, Sharpies. I don't have any Sharpies or pens. Um, I'm not really sure what they use those for. Maybe it's for their urban, their urban setup. On the left pouch, which is right behind here, I keep uh, one of those uh, survival wrap blankets. It's very lightweight, but it is bulky. Uh, the other thing I keep back here is a tube of crazy glue, and that's mostly for first aid. Um, I know there's some controversy whether this should be squirted into an open wound. Um, I keep it wrapped with some of that clear uh, medical tape. 
uh, in the event that I do cut myself. I, don't get me wrong, I have used it in the past on small cuts, um, but I carry it just in case. Even if I had just to adhere two things together, not, you know, skin. So that goes on the left pouch. The other thing that this pouch has um, is this little uh, hook right here attached with uh, kind of this lanyard. And I believe that's for keys or anything else that could fall out and you could lose when deploying anything from the pouch. If I'm wrong, anyone can correct me if they know what the real reason for that. On the right side, I have two long pouches. On the left side, I carry my um, Spyderco Enduro, which you've seen before. This was my handmade spray paint job. It's Krylon tan. Then I lightly sanded the top to remove, uh, you know, give it that two-tone look. Uh, this is a newer pocket clip, and it's already um, kind of uh, chipping. Uh, I sent it back to Spyderco for sharpening, and I was missing the clip. They were nice enough to put a new clip and a new fastening uh, screw on there. Um, interesting story with Spyderco. Before I had this knife, I had the previous model, which had um, this really flimsy pocket clip on there that moved around and deformed the Zytel handle. Well, they upgraded it with this knife. When I sent the other one in for sharpening, they sent me this one back. It was brand new. Uh, very nice and, um, and used. I carried this for a while. Before I was really into knives, this was my only knife. Um, it's a little loose, has a little wiggle side to side. No way to, uh, to tighten that. But uh, it's a good emergency knife. And uh, even though I don't carry it anymore, I keep, keep it here for an emergency. <laughs> the other thing I keep right behind it is about 25 feet of uh, paracord. This one's in the coyote color. And the biggest weight item I have in here is going to be my um, Leatherman Kick. Um, it's a pretty good, no-nonsense um, utility tool. has your pliers, wire cutter. Um, on this side it has a can opener. Let's see what else it has. Oh, it has your Phillips head screwdriver. I have a problem with this thing rusting. Every time I check it, I always notice a little bit of rust. Probably because it's here in the pouch and there's a lot of humidity. On this side I have the large blade which is very sharp by the way and that's the way it came I have touched it up everything's a little oily because I leave a layer of oil on them so it doesn't um, none of the tools um, rust here's a flathead or a prying tool and lastly it hiding in there it's a small screwdriver also can be used as an all kind of sharp And right here is a little um, thing to attach paracord, you know, to hang it on there. It's really a no-nonsense um, Leatherman. Uh, it is very heavy and adds weight to the pouch. So, as you can see, guys, I mean, it's kind of uh, it's kind of a weird situation because you can carry all this stuff. It's very heavy, and you can carry it with you all the time and hope that you never need it and the event that something happens you know you're gonna be ha glad you have that stuff with you so um, I guess I'll continue carrying it on there uh, I just hate carrying the weight and this um, camelback isn't very big this pouch basically goes in here goes in here on the side on this side I may, I may have room for another I have this big uh, emergency survival blanket you know that aluminum blanket I have some of these um, um, chemical lights on that side and here on the top pouch basically I, I would just keep the the first aid kit and that's it that leaves me with no other room I mean I can probably fit a um, I can probably fit a apple or a sandwich or you know something like that but it really doesn't give me a whole lot of room plus this uh, emergency first aid kit is pretty big I've actually taken everything out. I might as well give you a look at this since the video is already long. I basically have taken everything out, gutted it out, and put my own stuff in there that I think I really will need. This had a bunch of survival gear, uh, brochures, and some flimsy band-aids and stuff. And I replaced it with uh, real-world stuff that I think I'm going to need. 
So anyway guys, that was a look at my uh, Camelback, what goes inside of it, and uh, most importantly this little utility pouch, which I call an EDC pouch. Okay, hope this tip helps you, hope um, maybe stuff that I use, or actually stuff that I don't use, uh, helps you decide what to put in yours. Alright guys, take care.